All right, welcome back to some TFT with me, McRathy. Uh, we're playing Prismatic Party. We're playing Chonk's Treasure, so things are likely to get out of control. Uh, we do have Corrupt Vampiric Scepter. I kind of want something good to go with that. These are not it. Uh, you no longer gain interest. Gain 10 in gold now. Gain 4 XP. Uh... I think I'm going to take this Radiant Relics. Oh, we don't get anything. Quickest Silver, though. I'm going to take the Quickest Silver. That seems really good, actually. What if we did this on Nar? Right, we get a three-star Gnar. We put Quickest Silver with Corrupt Vampire Acceptor. Right? And then we get like a Rage Blade or Titans or something. Uh, I had the Titans Vow as well I could have gotten, I guess. But the Quickest Silver quickest silver means that you basically can't interrupt him. Right? And we do have... We're almost at a Titans Resolve here. So that would be pretty good, right? I'm going to sell these for 10 gold. Yeah, I think that would be really good. We just need to find the Gnar and the rest of the Fateds, or we just go Wardens. Warden got buffed or something, right? What did they do now? For those 10 seconds of combat, they take an additional 18% less damage. Hmm. I don't know if that was buffed or not. Yeah, I think this is on Nar. I mean, we could do Tristana too. Um, but I feel like this is really good on a frontline carry because then you're... Oh, dude, wow. He got Buildabud Kabuko. Seems disgusting. Um, yeah, it seems like this isn't as good on Tristana because you're not taking any damage. You're not absorbing much damage as Tristana. And so this heal is kind of a wasted, you know built into the item. It's kind of, kind of gets wasted, I think. I think Nar is the best use use case because um, he actually, he still gets his passive. And this would give you attack speed over two seconds. That's like 9% attack speed is insane. Yeah, I think we just go with this. I think we just try and go Nar. We don't have Nar yet, <laughs> so that makes it a little more complicated, but uh, that's fine. Uh, let's put it on... I, I want to do a bit of a test here. I want to put it on her because I don't think her ability works anymore, right? Yeah, see, her uh, ability, she doesn't do her her uh, AoE damage thing anymore, which uh, is really tough because that's what her so she's good at... Kiana was the other one I thought, oh, maybe this is really good because I thought it was like a passive ability. But it's not. That's part of her active is that she gives herself a passive. So she actually has to activate that ability before it becomes, you know, a passive ability, I guess. So we're second. If we can get a Gnar, oh, this would be great. This would be great. Also, we could get Hand of Justice on him. I would also take this on Mumu. Okay, good, we got the Gnar, or we will get the Gnar, that's good. Um, <clears throat> I think we take Hand of Justice on him. 15% Omni Vamp is really good. Titans might be better though, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Before I put this on, oh, I thought that was a Titans for a sec. Okay, we're gonna do this for sure. Infinity Edge, do we put Infinity Edge on her? I don't know, I'm gonna put Redemption on this. And, is a Bloodthirster better? Or, I think it's actually, I, honestly, I think it's Titans on him, on the Nara. I think that's better. And I think that's fine. Can we sell these two? 
We have a we could have a two star Kaisa here, which is just really insane. See, he still gets his passive here. He doesn't uh, lose that, which is amazing. Look at him. He's just healing back to full now. Nice. I thought we were dead there, but it uh, turns out we're not. Yeah, so his passive there gained 2.3 attack damage upon attacking or getting hit. Um, that's... Yeah, that's there. That's awesome. See if we can get kindred rerolls or champions. Two random two cost champions. Why not? Well, that wasn't what we wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we want some wardens, right? Wardens would be nice. We don't need this. Do we need Kaisa? I mean, we do have two trick shot here. We could just go two Kaisa like this. I think Brumblebust is fine on him as well. We have a remover in case we want to put that on the um, what to call it instead. We need these three plus the Orn. That makes four, and then we need to keep some AP items for Azir, but that's pretty much the lower. The lower end of importance at this point. Oh, this guy got the same stuff I did. Oh, he got bombardment. Our fury, though. All right, that's cool. No problem, friend. Out. All right, here we are. Fifty-five gold. Level up. Put another warden in for Nar. I think the trick shots would be good, but uh, not highest priority. The thing is, you've got to mix something with uh, with, um, with with the uh, dryads because they're not really that good by themselves. And I think that having ink shadow in is good because we can we have an, a warden here, we have an ink shadow here. We could get three ink shadow, and then we could give him vitality as well, which makes him a little bit weaker. But he does, then he really heals a really lot of stuff. Uh, do we put Dragon's Claw is probably the best thing, right? We already have a Bramble. Even Shroud is kind of good, but yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Gargoyles is really good. I don't know what's best. We're just going to level up to six where we want to roll, basically. That's where we're going to roll. Yeah, I think we take the uh, trick shot out because I think this is better being Ink Shadow is better than trick shot. So I think so. that's what we do. This guy is already pretty heavy into the DPS thing. I th think it's probably better to put the Titans on him, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Because if he has a vitality, I don't think he lasts very long. We can put it on him and find out. Ooh, we do have Pandora's items, though. Okay, how does that change things? We, we could take this off of him and just do something else totally. I'm actually not married to this idea of having these two items. I could easily go Ink Shadow or anything else. I think we'll do that. Honestly, I, I've played Dryads a bunch. I don't mind Dryad, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't need them either. What should we go here? Just go Wardens. Put this in for now. Yeah, honestly, like, I don't know what to do yet. Maybe we just go Six Warden. With, like, Ink Shadow or Trick Shot behind us. 
Hmm. I'm not really sure. We can go Lilia. Okay, let's just take this out because I don't want that anymore. We could go Lilia. Just go Sage Invoker Lilia. That would be pretty good. Right? Get some Umbrals like this. A shield on the holder breaks. Uh, do you shield yourself? No, you shield yourself. You don't shield yourself, right? You shield yourself. But I don't really want that. That's kind of boring. Legacy of the Colossus. Warmog's Pride. Alright, all right, just keep going. Let's just keep leveling up. We do have a Sage here. So we can probably use that. Yeah, just get the Lilia, I think, and then just get all AP items and tank items and stuff. This is probably an item that's probably worth it. I'm trying to think here. But I kind of want the AP items. And we're still not first pick. After all that. I think we take the Janna. Janna, come to me. Yep, I think that's what we do. Bom, ba -da -bom, bom. Uh, Nara and Shen are both exalted too. Well, that's fine. Loot contains more than you can do. Okay. Blast the target for 20%. For the next 10 seconds, deal 25% damage. I mean, this is pretty good, right? This is really good for, uh, what's her name? Um... Hold on, we have too many things now. Okay, this is the Morgana down here. Uh, Titans, Crest of Cinders, I don't really want that. We want to get to level 7 as soon as possible. That would be great. Um, I don't think we want any Giant Slayers. I think I do want this on Janna, though. One of those. You have a Kaisa. Two star Kaisa. Ginsu's. More Morellanomicon. Okay, this is. Gotta be the best. On Lilia, right? That's a Lilia comp if I ever seen one. Well, we have lesser champion to be What's this? 2% of their total mana whenever they're hit by an attack. I think this is really good on Nautilus, I would say. We'll get Janus thing as well. This is fine. This is the Lilia, I think, right? Or the Morgana. This is Morgana here? No, I think this is Lilia too. Yeah, I think that's fine. This is the Lilia. So we just wait. Oh, there's the Invoker bonus. There's the Lilia. Okay. Actually. Okay. And we can probably just take this sieber out. Put something else in. Who's next? 
So let's take this ever out. We actually... Wow, we're so low. Um, this goes here. Blue buff. I don't think it's blue buff. I think actually... Uh, this is what we do here. Oh, I guess we get a free win. Oh, there's a amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give him a rage blade. Do we have? Uh, yeah, I think this is fine because we have no other items rolling. So giving him this is gonna be amazing. Or do we go, do we give this to him? Hmm. I'm just taking jeweled lotus. That's that's easy. Rage blade. Okay. <clears throat> uh, crest of cinders. Nope. Oh my god. We gotta give. Yeah, okay, this guy gets this. This girl gets this. Come on, pick up your thing. This guy gets this. Okay, now we need some we need some uh some abilities or some some things that actually help us. <laughs> Four invoker. Three warden. I think we need to level up, right? Yeah, we need to get the Zyra in. <laughs> Mythics. What else are we getting in here? Hway maybe for Mythic? No, I don't really think so, right? Oh, come on, burn down. Burn down. That would be so funny. Okay, fine. We need a front line. We we do need a front line. I am aware. Okay, Warmog's Pride is good there. Uh, get this in. I don't really want Orn. We need another Warden in. Like a set or a moo moo. I would have been a two star or in there, but that's fine. Did we use these? We just want tank items from now on, pretty much. I think he needs a radiance. I guess we roll this for cost anyway. Actually, this. Orn is probably better than having a Jax in here. So we'll take the Jax out. Yeah, this game mode is pretty fun. This is just dicking around TFT, really. This Chonks treasure thing. It's like you get high cost units. I'm sure the shops are all, you know, increased as well. It's just a, uh, it's a dicking around kind of game. And I like that. It's kind of fun. You know? There's the Lilia. There's the Lilia. We probably go get the Lilia if we can get it. Because she's so broken. I just played a game where I had an amazing comp. Three star units like three star Diana, uh, three star Janna, three star Zyra. And then like a two star Lilia just like two shot our whole. The whole thing is like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Cool. So I don't know if these are best in slot, but they're pretty good. I've heard that more about more. Moralanomicon. Uh, this is like the best item in the game, so I put it on Lilia, the best champion in the game. What could go wrong, right? Come on, give me some defensive stuff, please. That's good. Warmogs is good. Um, or Gargoyles, rather, not Warmogs. Gargoyles is good. I think I want the Radiance on him, though. I think I put this here. 
Oh, Wukong. We can't get rid of Wukong, right? We can't do that. Two Sage is really good. What do I give him? Can't really give him much. I need a Rage Blade here, and I need a thing there. So I gotta roll these two items till we get those. Okay, we're going for three star Lilia. Okay, there's the Morgana. That's pretty good. I don't know if we have space for her though. Honestly. 14, 11. That was disgusting, Lilia. That was disgusting. I think we need... Mythic would also be good. Tom Kench, maybe. Would boost her up even further. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Annie would be nice. Yeah, the Annie would be... Really good front line, obviously. We could get rid of this. Basically just give those items to the Annie. Oh no, I don't want that. Don't don't move those champions, please. Okay, that's good. Oops, that's what I wanted there. This you can actually transform, and I think this you can transform too. We're not actually going we want to get some Lilias. If we can get some Lilias, I would be very happy. Ooh. There's this. Do we take this out? I think we take this out, right? Diana is here as well. She is good, but oh, I don't know. Don't really want to take her. We have five invokers now. We could get rid of the Aloon. We don't really need the Aloon here. It's better to have. Maybe Morgana is better. Right? Morgana would be better, right? Huh. Oh, dude, are you kidding? Yeah, okay, that's amazing. Let me take you out. You get this, though. We just need some more Lilias. Uh, we're at Raptors. Okay, that's fine. Looking for some four costs here. Okay, I'll take that. We'll roll that. Oh, Adaptive Helm. I think this is best on Morgana, right? Isn't that best on slot on her? Although we do need, we need some items. Uh, let's take this for him. More Ralanomicon, Adaptive Helm. I think this is okay on her. I think that's totally fine. Okay. Okay. So we're almost dead. We're almost dead, everybody. If we can get three-star Lilia, we just win this game. End of story, period. Oh my god. This is so annoying, Tom Kench. Why? Why are you so annoying? Right, I'm falling asleep. Come on. Okay. 
That's a warden. Yep, it is. Uh, don't really need a warden right now, but that is a warden, that's for sure. Red buff, that's good here. Uh, what else? Kaisa there. Oh my god. Oh my god, Lilia, you are too much damage, dude. Gargoyles would actually be really good. Wait, Wukong doesn't have the red buff? Red buff, there we go. I thought I... I thought I did that already. Come on. Somebody that we need. Apparently not. Who do we have to put in here? We don't have anyone to put in is the thing. Sage. I guess we put Diana in. Yeah, Diana would be really good. Let's put Diana in. Uh, put this in for now. Oh, I guess we're getting another Azir. Okay. Dragon's Claw. Sure, take that. Set. You're, you're now a tank. Congratulations. I would like to put that on Zaya, but uh, I guess we don't really have her, so... We'll just do this. Come on, turn into a Lilia or an Annie, please. Lilia or Annie, please. Would be really nice. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to be dead in this. How many more left? We get one left or two left or something. Hey, this Annie is really good. I just take it. Sage would have been really nice too. I don't know if that would have been better. That guy was beeline for it too, so I don't know if I would have gotten there in time to be honest. But I could have gone to get try to get that and then still probably gotten the Annie. So that's fine. Win condition is three star Annie or three star Lilia. So let's see what we can do. Okay, Annie, good. Got another Annie. We have a Hui too. And another champion duplicator. Wow. Okay, Titans definitely goes on you. Warmog's on you. You are now full tank. Okay, let's go ahead. And see if we can. There we go. Okay, two more Lilias. Oh, there's the Zaya. Hold on, we get the Zaya in here, right? Yep. Diana is the only one we're missing here. Diana would be great. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we really got two more Lilias. We really got a three-star Lilia, guys. This game is fucking over. This game is 1,000% over. Although... Those three stars scare me, too. Yeah, three-star Lilia is gonna be... You're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a hard time beating that. Um, I don't even know what to do. Do we try to go three star Annie too? Seems like that would be pretty good. Uh, we have nobody to put these on. Three star Morgana. Three star Annie. Azir, another Annie. Oh my god, two more Annies. And we've done it chat. I'm going to go ahead and sell these. If we win, I might sell these too, but 3-star Morgana or 3-star Annie, we just win, right? Dude, Lilia is so good. I'm so close to death. <laughs> so close to death, but like, Lilia, so good. Let's see, what, what do we got? Okay. We have two lesser champion duplicators. I don't even know what to do with these. We don't have any units to use these on. Can 
kind of sucks, but that's fine. Altruist. Yeah, Diana. If we pick up a Diana, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll think about two-starring her and maybe just rushing level 10 for her. Because it gives us the five, four sage and it gives us the uh, three dragon lord as well. So it's not actually the worst. The thing is... Oh god, there it is too. 72 to level 10. That's a lot of gold. I'd be giving up... Be giving this up, basically. Uh, Spear of Shojin. I think that goes here. I think this goes on the Janna. Not too worried about the Janna. Did we beat this guy? I mean, he's got a three-star Loon, but I have a three-star Lilia, so, like, what's your Loon going to do? Oh, that's so much damage. You got cutscene did so much damage. Thank you for playing. Sorry for wrecking your day. I think we can just try and go three-star Annie. I think that's just more fun. Right? It just must be. Uh, we're still looking for two-star Rakan as well. Any, 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 any? No. Any, 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 any? No. I mean... Okay, either way. Okay. Okay. To take this set. We don't have a two star set yet, so that would be good too. Oh god, this guy's got so many three stars. What are they? Silas. Oh. Sorry, Silas. Sorry, uh, Kabuko with 10,000 HP. You're getting wrecked. Although this is a. That was rough. This is actually a, a ghost that I was fighting. We're not getting three star Wukong, right? We're not getting three star Azir. Any? 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 Okay, so here's the thing. I gotta pick one or the other. Oh, that's two star Rakan, but it's pretty good. No, I can't do that. Let's go put that on here. This is the. This is not the ghost, so I may not win this one. He's got a three-star Silas. I mean, I do have a three-star... Oh, his three-star... No, his three-star Silas is not dead. Oh, I'm dead. Bummer. I tried, guys. Second place. It's still really fun. Three-star Lily, I guess, defeated. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds crazy, guys. All right. Well, thanks to uh, CPU Course, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. See you in the next uh, video. Play some Chunks Treasure. It's just digging around. That's what we do professionally.